And over in Las Vegas, this year's Consumer Electronics Show will officially open doors to the public come Tuesday local time. Now, for those of you who cannot be there, we share a preview earlier offered to the press. Our correspondent Moon Herian was there. This is the end of the beginning. Behind me are the masses of people filing out from the opening keynote speech a day before the biggest tech event of the year. And with the speech having been given by NVIDIA's Jensen Huang, it's no surprise that artificial intelligence remains a central theme at this year's CES. Generative artificial intelligence was the central technology on display during Huang's presentation as he unveiled NVIDIA's newest, fastest chip. The RTX Blackwell chips in a demonstration showed real-time graphic generation of a video game in detailed high definition. But Huang went on to discuss the endless possibilities of generative AI outside of images and sounds. We can understand amino acids, we can understand physics. We understand them, we can translate them and generate them. On top of graphic generation, Huang introduced a new AI model to train robots and autonomous vehicles. AI is also expected to take a leap this year in providing more personalized experiences across a range of different appliances. An increasingly significant portion of the tech consumer pie now consists of the digitally native Generation Z, meaning that there is now a bigger drive for tech to be aligned with their values, which includes sustainability. On the other end of the spectrum, technology centered around senior care is also booming with more personalized experiences across a range of different appliances. Yeah, and I think it's about this idea of AI integration in the next generation of consumer hardware transforms devices like Samsung smartphones with Galaxy AI or HP laptops with their companion on board, LG TVs. And kicking off the series of press conferences a day before CES, LG Electronics showcased its vision to achieve exactly that, under the slogan, less artificial, more human. Demonstrations of LG's generative AI-powered solutions such as ThinQ On showed how it uses sensors to monitor user behavior and control devices around the home. It goes beyond personalization to what LG has dubbed affectionate intelligence. To create seamless AI-powered spaces, LG has partnered with international companies such as Microsoft, as well as renowned figures such as entertainer and entrepreneur Will I Am. And this collaboration between LG and FYI can be summed up in one word, two syllables, abracadabra. And in Aramaic, it means I create as I speak. And it's no longer just a word, it's real. Another South Korean tech giant, Samsung Electronics, redefined its slogan of AI for all to meet the needs of different lifestyles, such as single-person families, those with pets, and so on. Today, I want to redefine what home means to us and introduce our roadmap for home AI. For the past 10 years, we have led innovation in the home making your home smarter with every step forward. The firm also addressed concerns surrounding AI and user data, claiming that its new NOC security system means that any data collected to personalize user experience can only be accessed by the user even if the server is compromised. Other than in the home, Samsung Electronics integrates AI in laptops, smartwatches and rings, combining this year's tech trend of personalized technology coordinated across various hardware to provide an uninterrupted user experience. Moon Arirang News, Las Vegas.